Next week, Council will meet to make final decisions on the City's 2021 budget. A lot has changed in a year, and this budget is meant to address and respond to the financial challenges faced by the City and those across our community. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we're projecting a shortfall of more than $10 million compared to last year because of reduced revenues from transit, parking, recreation programs, and cultural venues like the Leon Centre and the Grand Theatre. At the same time, I know that many in our community are struggling financially right now because of lost or reduced employment, restrictions to their businesses, or other financial pressures from the pandemic. That's why City Council has committed that this year's property tax increase will be one of the lowest in the last 20 years. So we're going to balance the budget by looking to reduce costs wherever we can, including a freeze on council pay and salaries for non-union employees, factoring in reduced utility and fuel costs, reduced travel expenses, and using emergency provincial funding as wisely as we can. When it comes to spending, we're looking to support residents wherever possible. In the 2021 budget, there's money for affordable housing, for renovations to allow for more supportive housing, and continued funding for the integrated care hub to care for our most vulnerable residents. We're introducing a new home energy retrofit program to assist residents to make energy efficient upgrades and renovations to reduce their monthly energy bills and their carbon footprints. And we're also introducing a property tax deferral program to assist local businesses that have been hardest hit by the pandemic. My goal with this budget is to support our community through these tough times and lay the foundation for a social and economic recovery that will position us for better and brighter days ahead.